Good morning, everyone. I'm coming to you atop my paddleboard on the Tualatin River, and it reminds me of the Greek philosopher Heraclitus, who once said, you can't step into the same river twice, because fresh waters are always flowing upon you. And that leads us to today's hermetic principle, known as the principle of vibration. What is the principle of vibration? Well, nothing rests. Everything moves. Everything vibrates. I do have my notepad here today, so I can keep my thoughts like I did with the last video. I think it turned out a lot better. Anyway, movement is manifested in everything in the universe. For nothing is at rest, from the smallest particles on the subatomic level to the largest galaxies. Every atom in your body is vibrating. Some of them vibrate so fast that it almost appears if they're standing still. Think of when you're driving down the highway and you see a tire. It's spinning so fast that you can see the brake caliper and the rotor. Now, emotions vibrate as well. Positive emotions have a higher vibration frequency than negative emotions. When you're sending out these positive vibrations, you'll receive back vibrations that are positive. If you're sending out negative vibrations such as depression, hate, pain, despair, envy, you'll get back the same vibrations. And that'll lead you further down the spiral of those negative vibrations. So you always have to be aware of your emotions. Know where it is that you feel happy, where it is you feel sad. For me, I feel happy when I'm out here in nature. You know, as I like to call it, the temple of creation. But you can overcome some of these negative emotions by focusing on stuff that makes you happy. Think of a favorite movie that puts a smile on your face or a favorite song. I mean, no one can feel sad when they're listening to the Red Hot Chili Peppers. It's, it's impossible. So you can listen to their song, Scar Tissue, or Soul to Squeeze, and that evokes emotion. And normally it's a positive emotion, even though they're not their happiest songs. Now, you can influence and change the level of vibration once you are aware that this exists. You need to know your true self better at every level to affect the changes in your life and the wishes that you want to occur. A healthy mindset is extremely important to increase your levels of vibration, but also a healthy body. So you can exercise for your body, you can meditate for your mind, you can come out here and listen to the birds singing while you're floating down the river. Emotions are more than just feelings. It changes your blood chemistry. It means that it increases hormone levels. Emotions change your heart rate, your blood pressure, and even your body temperature, all of which changes your level of vibration for the positive. Whether you are able to move on from certain pain and suffering, it's up to you. I understand. We've all had bad experiences in our life. But that will affect us 
on both the micro and the macro levels. So you have to deal with your negative emotions like fear and hate and depression and get over them. I know it's hard to say that and I'm not heartless because I've had depression in my life as well. But the weight of emotions that are negative are weighing you down. It's like baggage. The same goes for anger. If you're angry at a situation, well, are you choosing to be angry? Or is it justified anger? Sometimes it's justified, but not all the time. A lot of times you're angry just to be angry. Now, there's another thing you can do called renewing your mind where you release yourself from all the negative thoughts and energy making room for positive thoughts and energy this was actually covered in the Bible as well in Romans 12 2 when Paul was spreading the word of Yeshua he said and do not be conformed to the world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Most of the time, when you're angry at the situation, like I said, you're angry to be angry. Instead, make yourself happy. Forget about the situation and move on. But always learn from your negative experiences so that you may not repeat them. And if for some reason you do repeat them, you'll have a roadmap of how to defeat those inner demons so much faster. And then once you conquer your inner demons, you can move on to the positive mindset, increasing your internal vibration. There's an old expression he who vibrates at the highest will rule over he who vibrates at the lowest. There's a school of thought known as thought reduction. This is where you're able to clear your mind of all the chatter that is filling you with dread and despair. And lowering your internal vibration, your frequency. The media, especially the cable news, is completely guilty of this with their sensationalism. It's horrible. You need to turn it off. Clear your mind of their chatter, always leading you down this path of fear and despair. Now, in John 10.27, Yeshua said, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Well, this basically means that the same frequency attracts the same frequency and recognizes it. Hence, positive vibrations as silly as that sounds, it sounds like an old early 2000s song, but it'll attract other positive vibrations. So one of the things that you can practice is learning to live in the moment, not the past or even the future. That doesn't mean forget about your past. Your past is who makes you. Your mistakes make you the person you are today. Embrace those mistakes. You've learned from them. Try not to repeat them again. In the future, well, we all need to think of a better future. That's what we're all striving for, a better life. Something along those lines. But you have to focus on today. You have to focus on your mental health, your vibration levels, everything, your diet. Hmm. Some ducks just chased a fish. Did you hear it, John? Too cute. Buddha once said, what you think you create what you feel you attract and what you imagine you become. That is what will lead you 
to the path that you seek. You have to imagine a positive future. You have to imagine where you want to be. And you will get there. So this is a shorter video because there's really not that much to cover with vibration other than raising your frequency. So in conclusion, you need to spend more time in nature like I'm doing. You need to meditate, clear your mind, even if it's for five or 10 minutes and just practice the art of self affirmations. This will lead you down the path to a healthier and happier frequency, which in turn will lead you to a happier life. I love you all. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.